Thank you, Chair Duncan, for allowing me to wave on uh, for this important discussion. I want to thank our witnesses in particular, especially thank Commissioner Tricia Pridemore for testifying today. Uh, it's great to have a Georgia commissioner here to discuss the, our vertically integrated public util utility model, which is working very well. I'm proud that uh, the state of Georgia is leading the way in, in innovation for supplying our constituents with affordable, reliable energy. Uh, not only that, but Georgia has, uh, for the past, I think, 11 or 12 years, been number one state to do business, and that requires a lot of resources, particularly energy and affordable energy. Uh, to meet the needs of our constituents and businesses, we've got to support all of the above energy strategy. Uh, the, uh, this means utilizing a diverse set of energy resources. Uh, Commissioner, you've talked about Plant Vogel, uh, units three and four. Um, you know, this, these are the first units built in over 30 years. And I'm proud that they've been built and now complete, completed, almost completed, uh, in the state of Georgia. And uh, uh, four is expected, I believe, to come online very soon. Um, Commissioner Primor, can you explain why the Georgia Public uh, Commission uh, supported uh, the, uh, I mean, it's been 30 years, so we want to build two new nuclear units, and uh, why it was important uh, 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 to the energy grid? Thank you for the question, Mr. Allen. It's always good to see you. Um, Plant Vogel represents a turning point for our state. It provides our state with energy security. It provides and sends a market signal uh, to nations and other states and businesses that are looking to relocate. Um, it tells the world that we put a premium on energy, carbon-free, 24-7, 365 power. It also sends a signal to the world that we're willing to do and take on these hard and difficult tasks, not only for the benefit of our state, but also for the benefit of our country. I believe so strongly that our nation has everything that we need to be energy independent and energy secure, but yet we continue to put barriers up that preclude us from being able to have that reality. And I, 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 I welcome the opportunity to be with you, share our point of view in Georgia. We're proud of the work of Plant Vogel. It's a 60 to 80 year asset. Where I look at solar, which certainly has its place in the portfolio, but it's a 15 to 20 year PPA with a limited asset. I'm still in the, in the very recent stages of figuring out what my retirement policy is for solar, how that is to be managed. There's just so many factors to consider where Vogel is really a shining star, and something that we're proud of. Yeah, we, you know, we develop all these things, but very short-sighted. And then like, what do you do with these things when the you know, life expectancy? Uh, but you know, going back to uh, nuclear, uh, is there an equivalent to a 24-7 baseload clean generation that we get from nuclear power, especially considering the length of time that, uh, that you're gonna be in operation there? No. In other words, it costs very little once you get the capital cost uh, to operate, that's some of the cleanest, uh, most reliable, most efficient energy that you can produce. Yes, sir. Good. Uh, many states, Commissioner Pridemore, have chosen to deregulate their electric utilities. I'm not here to question those choices for those states, but from my vantage point, that does not seem like the right choice for the state of Georgia or the states in the southeast. The states that elected retail choice seem to be struggling the most when it comes to re uh, re reliability. Uh, so, uh, Commissioner, what is the value of utilities remaining vertically integrated and what are the risks of deregulation for customers in Georgia? Our vertically integrated system with 41 EMCs, 49 municipals, and one vertically integrated investor-owned utility provides us with little to no redundancy of assets and we still have rates that are up to 10% below the national average. It gives us an economy of scale that is unmatched in any RTO or ISO state. We also have the ability now through SEAM, the Southeastern Exchange Market, to be able to help export and help our neighbors when they need it and import when, God forbid, we need the help ourselves. Great, well listen, great. 
see you, and uh, thank you for what you're doing in Georgia. And I yield back. Jim.